guys, welcome to the workshop recorder. Well, I finally finished my little Volkswagen van and I wanted to show you a little bit about uh, what I've done. Now, I didn't record any video, um, which is pretty standard, um, about how I've done some of this stuff on this uh, finishing this van, but I've taken a lot of photos and I want to show you those. So here it is. Uh, it's ready for a vignette base. I'm going to make a vignette base with some of these Redoat characters. You can kind of get a, an idea of the scale and the size of the guys. And uh, yeah, well, those will, be, those will be a future project as well as the base. I uh, will be posing this in, in various kinds of uh, scenes for taking some photos and seeing what I can do. Well, um, yeah, so I finished it up with uh, an interior that you can't hardly see. But if you do take a light into that back window, you'll be able to see that there's lots of good stuff in there. Um, the back side of this is is done up in a, like a 1982. Actually, the sticker, the the license plate registration sticker on the on the glass there is 1982. The license plate that's on there is my license plate that I had in the 80s. The stickers on the on the van, all the bumper stickers are vintage 80s style. Houston Oilers, Houston Astros, Gillies Nightclub, which was made popular by uh, Urban Cowboy, the movie. Uh, everybody had a sticker uh, because it was in, in our neighborhood. Um, yeah, and Smitty's Bait Shop. And there's a Galveston Island sticker on there because Smitty's Bait Shop is on Galveston Island just over the bridge. And, and well, they need a delivery van, so I built them one. The uh, gas cap there, you can see I haven't put the rag in there yet. The rag is still a, a piece of uh, green epoxy putty that's been formed and shaped, but it's not cured yet. When it's fully cured, I'll paint it. Love You Blue sticker from the Oilers days. There's an Astroworld sticker on there from uh, back in the, in the 80s. That was their logo, and everybody went to Astroworld. Uh, KLOL, a Runaway Radio bumper sticker, the uh, rock and roll station at the time. So yeah, it came together really well. Uh, I did have some, some, some areas where I would do differently. I tried to cast the lights. The tail lights are kind of kind of bare. They're just coated in paint right now. I tried to cast them in clear, and I was going to paint the back in uh, in, in red paint. Um, I did make successful casts, but one of them had a bubble, and I just I just lost. I was like, man, I'm just going to put the kit parts on there and paint them. Same thing with those uh, head those uh, amber turn signal lights on front. Technically, that's supposed to be a white lens with an amber bulb inside. But I've seen them both ways, and I just did the amber. Uh, I'll probably do it differently next time if I was to build this kit again. The headlights uh, went together just fine. There's Tester's chrome paint on the inside there. Everything else is uh, MRP. There's some some uh, uh, Vallejo model color on the inside, the steering wheel and such. Other than that, it's all MRP paints. And in my other videos, I've shown you how I've got to this point. But uh, yeah, most of what I've done since my last video were just these little details, the, the, the latches, the, I've done a little bit of extra weathering on here to tidy things up. I did all those, uh, all those uh, bumper stickers uh, on my laser printer. I want to talk about how I did that. I don't want to show you what I've been doing here to the back of my uh, vehicle here. Um, the story of this van is that it is a very typical van of the area that I live in and so I needed some bumper stickers suitable for the time period which is the the uh, uh, late 70s early 80s specifically it's 82 because of the registration sticker the eighth month that's a 1982 sticker but I wanted to show you how to do these little these little paper um, decals these are bumper stickers and uh, they're all either downloaded from the internet I needed some some period Oilers, Astros, Gillies, and Astro World uh, stickers because those are the kinds of things you see on the backs of uh, beat up vans in our era. So the way I've done that is I've I've printed them out. I took this. I made the license plate in Adobe Illustrator. That's my license plate from back then, and um, I found all the rest of, and I made this on in these in, registration stickers in Illustrator as well. And the rest of these are downloaded from the internet. Um, Gilly's Nightclub in Pasadena, which is close by to, you know, it's in the area. Uh, made popular by, uh, what is that, John Travolta Cowboy movie? I forget. I never even saw the thing. But Gilly's was a, was was right next to the football stadium where my high school played. Uh, Galveston, Astroworld, the theme park. Uh, Houston Oilers. Um, Love You Blue was a big phenomenon back then. Houston Oilers, Bum Phillips, Astros. May the Force Be With You sets it in time. Uh, and during the time when Star Wars, the original Star Wars, were, uh, you know, you can only see them in the theaters. 
uh, 101 KLOL. That was uh, the the radio station here. That if you were uh, if you were uh, into rock, you you had one of those on your car. Uh, visit Mexico. I don't think I'm going to use that one. I, you can't really read it. But all these set this vehicle in a, a specific place in time. And so the way I do that, I print them out on my, you know, scale them to the right scale, print them out, and then I literally sand the back. I take sandpaper and I sand down the back, and then I coat the paper with, uh, uh, actually I'm using clear lacquer varnish. And I do that from the back side first and then from the front side. And you can see that this one's still drawing. What I want to show you, when you sand it down, I sanded down those Love You Blue stickers. Let me hold up the light here. You can see how thin they are. And so that gives you a more, uh, you don't have a big thick edge of a sheet of paper. You can thin them down from the back side by sanding. And I'll go ahead and spray a, a very light coat of white lacquer on the back of that just to make sure that uh, if I put it over something that the rust doesn't show through it, it looks opaque. But uh, yeah, that's how I'm doing these things and, and they're turning out pretty well. I attach them with a uh, tester's clear parts glue. I attach the ones on the window there from the inside. And well, we're on our way to having a, a, a more of a story on this van, a story of place and time, very specific to me actually. And uh, yeah, I'm liking it. On, on the kit, I don't know if you can see, but in pictures you can see, I think you can actually see it in the video, the uh, Astro sticker there, that orange circle, is a little bit thick. It has it casts a shadow, and I didn't want that, but that's what you get. But on the bumper there, they turned out pretty nice. Um, I replaced the, the rear view mirror supports with brass rod, and um, I used the kit windshield wipers, which are entirely too heavy and beefy. But hey, you know, when you're time to be done with the kit, it's time. I did build a bunch of junk to go in the back just in case you get a, a, a pen light after. You can look in that back window and see Smitty's Bait's doing good business down there on the island. Um, there's a lot of junk in there. I printed out a newspaper and um, I made a cup, a Pepsi cup, out of a template that uh, allowed me to curve that thing around and glue it together and put a, a, a styrene disc on the bottom and make a, a Pepsi cup to go in there on the, on the seat. Uh, there's a newspaper, it's a local newspaper that I put in there. There's an order form laying on the floor and a brown paper bag. There's a cigarette pack that I printed out and folded up and I, I put a little piece of, of a rectangular styrene in the inside of that and folded up the cigarette pack uh, around that styrene so that I could uh, have an easier time of it and not squish the thing. I mean, the thing's tiny, it's like four or five millimeters tall. Um, made the straw and some cigarettes out of stretch sprue and sprinkled those things around the cab and well there you go you've got a cluttered up cab on this van and you got a lot of junk in the rear end of the of the van so overall it turned out well I'm really pleased with it let me show you some photos So it went together pretty well, and, and it's, a, it's a completed project. I really enjoyed it. 
And uh, yeah, that's it. So thanks for joining me. Hope it's uh, been useful. Hope you learned something. I sure did. I learned a lot from this project. Made a lot of mistakes too, but you know, that's how you get better. And uh, well, thanks for joining me. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.